welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is jillian and as you guys can see from the title today's video is going to be a pretty large dollar tree haul some of the stuff is christmas related some of the stuff is just random things that i picked up and then a few things are going to be like stocking stuffers for the kids but i did want to go ahead and film this for you guys before i go ahead and stash it away so the first few things i'm going to show you guys is a ton of books i think i have at least 10 books here if you guys actually follow me over on instagram you would have seen a few of these because i did share a few of these over on instagram now i didn't pick up all these books all in one trip these were from different dollar trees anytime i go in dollar tree i was going to the book aisle and see if i find anything interesting so I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you guys all the books that I picked up. So the first one is called The Arsonist and these that I'm gonna show you right now are gonna be hard um, cover books and then the other ones are not but for a dollar I grabbed a lot. So this one is called The Arsonist and it is a hard cover book and I read up the reviews on this one. The reviews on this one was really good so I'm really excited to read that one. Then I picked up this one. This one's called Like Never and Always. And that is how this book looks like. If you guys have read any of these books, let me know if they are good. I haven't looked up the reviews on all of them, just a few, but this one, like I said, is called Like Never and Always. I would sit here and tell you guys what it says in the back, but I will be here all day. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna show you guys the title. This book is called Class Mom. And I thought this one looked really interesting. So I grabbed that one. And then the last hardcover book I grabbed was this one. It's called The Waters and the Wild. And I just really liked also the cover. I thought the cover was really pretty, but I did read the back and it does seem to be interesting. So I grabbed this Next one. This book is called What My Sister Knew. And this one looks like a more like suspenseful type of book. So I'm excited to read that one. I'm really excited to read this one. If you guys like Pretty Little Liars, they came out with a series called The Perfectionist and I have not watched it yet, um, but I know they did come out with that. So I'm gonna read the book and if the book is good, then I'll watch the show. Then I picked up this book, it's called A Drift and I'm a sucker for love stories and this is a love story. So, and this one's a really small one. So I'll know I'll literally read this. I can probably read this in one day, but with the kids will probably take them two days, but this one's a smaller book. This one's also a smaller book as well. And this one's called Story of a Girl. I love Lifetime and it says this is a Lifetime movie. So if I like the book, maybe I can find it on Lifetime and watch the movie as well. So this is another book that is pretty small. Next is gonna be another love story. And this one is called Rock in a Hard Place. And that's how that one looks like. And the last book I picked up is called Spelled. So it's supposed to be kind of like um, The Wizard of Oz from what I read in the back. So that looked pretty interesting. So. I'm gonna read this one. I think my mom would really like this book, so I think I'm gonna read it and then I'll probably send it off to her, see if she wants to read it. But I got really excited when I um, found this book as well. So those are all of the books that I bought. Like I said, if you guys read any of those books before, let me know if they're good. Or if you guys would like me to keep you guys updated on what I like and what I didn't like, let me know in the comments. Maybe I can give you guys like an update in one of my vlogs or over on Instagram. Also, I'm sorry if you guys hear the kids in the background, they are home. But I also picked up two rolls of um, wrapping paper for Christmas. So I love the Christmas movie Elf. It's one of my favorite Christmas movies. So I found wrapping paper of the Elf. So I grabbed one roll of that one. And then I grabbed a roll of Christmas Hello Kitty to wrap all of Madison's gifts in. I did find um, at, I think, Marshall's dinosaur wrapping paper. Then I'm gonna wrap all of Ryan's gifts in, but I bought Hello Kitty for Madison. So this next bag is literally gonna be a ton of random stuff. This is for my mom's birthday box. I have to send her a box out this week for her birthday. So I just grabbed two bags of this decorative oh, shred. This is the only color they had, which is fine. She likes purple, but um, my Dollar Tree, that's literally two minutes down the street from my house, they're never stocked in anything, and that's the one I went to. But I just grabbed two bags of that so I can stuff in her box when I mail it out. And then I just bought some bubble wrap so I can wrap. Um, I bought her something that's glass. I don't know what it is. I think it maybe it might be a candle, but there's something that's glass that I wanted to wrap that in. Also, if you guys need small boxes, Dollar Tree has them. I picked up a box to put all of her gifts in. I also picked up a card also, guys. Cards are really great to buy from Dollar Tree because I don't like spending six, seven, eight dollars on the expensive um, cards that people are just gonna toss to the side. So a lot of times you can either get two for a dollar or just one for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So I grabbed my mom this um, 
birthday card and it just says mother and it has a gold heart and it has a really cute little um, note inside. So I grabbed her that card. I also grabbed her some of her favorite candy. So I grabbed her some hot tamales. I grabbed her some bit of honey and then also some Twizzlers to throw in her birthday bag. So I found this really cute coffee mug and this was the only one that they had. I found it on a random shelf. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it for myself or if I'm gonna give it away as a gift, but I thought he was so cute to drink hot cocoa or coffee or tea. And like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna keep him for myself or give it away, but I thought that was really cute. So I grabbed that mug. So I love getting these wall, not wall, these window clings for the kids for each like season and holiday. They love to put these in the windows. And I thought these were really cute. Um, I don't, it comes with 14 and it's just a bunch of like little Christmas stickers they can put on the window. Also for like a Christmas craft, I bought the kids this. I bought one is a snowman so they can make their own felt snowman. And then I bought one gingerbread man or gingerbread girl. Um, so yeah, one for Ryan, one for Madison. I'll let them choose whichever one they want. Right, guys, so I just found another book that I guess I bought from Dollar Tree. It was in one of the bags. And this one is called Little Rex. So this one also looked interesting as well. I read the back really quickly while I was in Dollar Tree and it looked pretty interesting. So I grabbed that one. I also grabbed some socks. I love buying all those cute festive socks from Dollar Tree. So I grabbed some for the kids and I think myself. So I grabbed Madison this pair and it's pink with a little fox on it. He's wearing like a little winter Santa hat. And then I got this red pair and it just has a cute little reindeer right there. And then for Ryan, I got him a pair of um, Santa Claus socks. And then I got him a pair of this snowman socks. So each of the kids got two pair of Christmas socks. And then I got two pairs of these unicorn socks. So I got one for myself because I love these cute socks. They're super soft. And then I got a second pair and the second pair I'll probably say for like my sister maybe um, for Christmas. I'm starting to buy like little knickknacks here and there for my family. So I think my sister would really like these. So I think I'll save these for my sister. And then I will save these for my mom. I got a pair for my mom as well. And I think this is a reindeer, really cute. Or maybe I'll give my mom the unicorn one, I don't know. One is for my mom, one is for my sister. And then I also got one for my grandma, but my grandma's has the little, um, little no slip grips on the bottom because those are the ones that she likes to wear. She likes to wear them in her house. So I grabbed her these hot pink ones with the no slip grip on the bottom. And I also started buying little knickknacks here and there for the kids stocking and for Christmas. So the first thing I got was this sketchbook and it is for Ryan. He loves to like draw and doodle. So it's small enough to just stick in his stocking. I got Madison a ball. She loves balls. It's a little colorful ball, has a bunch of numbers in it or on it for Ryan. I also got these hot cold iPads. So he's been asking me for like a cucumber from the refrigerator to put on his eyes um, so he can relax. So I figured he would really like these. These are donuts and he can use that instead of using all the cucumbers in my refrigerator. I also got them stuffed animals. So I got um, Madison this one just because she likes this I don't know what this is called but like she likes the feeling of this so I grabbed her this one and then I grabbed Ryan just this is this a moose I think this is a moose grabbed him this one my kids love stuffed animals so grabbed that and then I also grabbed Ryan this little dinosaur head he loves dinosaurs so I grabbed him this little brown one and I'll stuff it in his stocking as well. I found this two pack Wet n Wild mm -hmm. um, pack and it's a nail polish and also a lipstick. Mm -hmm. I really like Wet n Wild. I think they are a good brand. I buy a lot of their products. So two for a dollar, I thought that was a really great deal. And the color, does it say the color? It doesn't say the color on here, but maybe it says in the bottom. The lipstick says it is just peachy. And then I'm not sure what color the nail polish is, but I thought that was really pretty. So I grabbed that. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this for myself or give it away as a gift like maybe my sister or something. And then a few more um, stocking stuffers. I grabbed this, I thought this was really cool. It's a super blast art. So I think I had something like this when I was a kid, but it's one of those blow markers and then you can make like a little creation 
So that's for the kids stocking. And then right now, Ryan's very into these like little, I mean, they're pretty much like Legos, but they're from Dollar Tree. And each one, you can build something specific. So I grabbed him a ton of these because he's obsessed with them right now. So I grabbed him a fireman one. I grabbed this military one. I grabbed a fire rescue one. What is this one? A fire department little helicopter. And then I also grabbed um, two packs of people. So this one is fire squad. And then this one is policeman. So he can put them um, like in here, like right here, you can put them inside. So grab some packs of that. So that is going to end my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure I will be back very soon to pick up some more stuff for myself and also the kids. Um, if you guys want another haul, let me know. Maybe I can go and just buy specifically all Christmas stuff and maybe do it like a Christmas haul. Let me know. Also look out for, I'm going to be filming a kids stock and stuffer gift ideas so you'll probably see a few of these in that video as well as other things i'm going to include in it so if you guys need ideas for your kids for stockings make sure you are subscribed i also will be filming a amazon adult and kids gift ideas to make it like a little bit easier where you can just literally order off of amazon and it'll be shipped to you or um your loved one so i'll be filming those two very soon for you guys so if you guys would like to see that Remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you haven't already. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.